Blood curdling facts that you wish you never knew. Part 24. There's been multiple cases of people actually being eaten alive by an escalator. If you like to eat cereal, there's a 21 to 38% chance that you're also eating in a Karis mite. Supposedly, if you have Sanpaku eyes, meaning that there's white below your iris, it actually means that you're supposed to die young. Every time you feel very aggressive, your brain is set to kill for a few seconds. So in that one second, you could kill a human being. When getting laser eye surgery, you can actually smell the parts of your eyes being shaved down by the lasers. If you're a male, after you die, your loved ones can have a doctor electrocute your prostate, forcing you to ejaculate for your sperm. Female dragonflies often fake their own death to prevent rape. If you ever get burned by electricity, it will leave burn marks shaped like lightning on your skin. Many pets actually die because their owner dies unexpectedly and nobody comes in to check in on them in time. She said that the evil was inside her. Its unwanted presence in her room was known by her family. She said that every day she'd fear the night because she knew what was coming. It was a monster, pure evil, and it deserved to die. See, Christy Marks used a carving knife to open up her stepfather's stomach like butter the last night he entered her room. She said cutting out her mother's eyes was a must, seeing she'd turned a blind eye to the torture she'd endured every night for the last three years and knew it was happening. But it was her uncle she said she had the most fun with. She not only dismembered him, but police said the 15 year old girl slowly cut him up over a six hour period while he was still alive. In a recorded interview in a mental institution just before she died, she said that she had to go with the evil, but she'd be back. She said that people could call on her by putting a red X on their mirror. Today we're looking at creepy ghost photos with even creepier stories. Let's get it started. The family that owns this house says that they occasionally see the ghost of a little girl. They hear her footsteps and even see her reflection in the mirror sometimes. When they were sitting in this room, they saw the reflection of her in the black cabinet and they quickly took the photo. When this photographer was passing by the haunted Savannah home of 432 Abercorn Street, the home was abandoned but they noticed the face of a small child peering through the window. Legend has it that a young girl passed away after her father tied her to a chair and left her to die in this house. When I looked at the picture again, I noticed the face of another person right behind her. This photo was taken in George's historic Whirly Bed and Breakfast Inn. This normal looking photo appears to show a man resting on the bed, but when the person who took the photo got it developed, they were shocked because when they took this photo, they were the only one in the room. If you receive a creepy tea party invitation in your mailbox, throw it out right away and don't attend the party. There's a legend about this girl who received a strange invitation. It was sealed with wax, it looked super old, but it didn't say who it was from. It gave an address, a time, and a dress code. But the creepiest part about it is that at the very bottom of the invitation it said, no plus ones allowed, arrive unattended. Obviously her parents were really sketched out and they told her not to go to this place and to throw out the invitation right away. Way. But the next day, her parents went into her bedroom and she was nowhere to be seen. They saw the invitation lying open on her bed and they knew that she had gone. Now, after this, she was never seen again. And when her family went to the address the tea party was said to be, they arrived at an abandoned old building. It was then found out that multiple people had gone missing that month after receiving a strange tea party invitation. So if you get invited to a tea party, think twice. This is why you never judge a book by its cover. On the evening of August 7th, 1985, police received a call about a mentally ill woman attacking her family with a gun. When police arrived at her residence, they didn't hear any shooting or hear any noises coming from inside the house. Police tried yelling for the shooter to come outside, but when she didn't listen, they went in. Inside was a massacre. All five family members have been killed, including two young children. One of the deceased was Sheila Bamber, the mentally ill woman the police had been called about, and she was holding a rifle that was tucked up against her neck with a gunshot wound underneath her chin. This case gained massive media attention, putting pressure on the police to solve it as quickly as possible, and so they jumped to the conclusion that this had to be a murder-suicide perpetrated by Sheila. But one detective felt like they were missing something and kept investigating. And sure enough, he found something hidden under the stairs at the crime scene that meant Sheila could not be the shooter. To find out what's under the stairs and who the shooter is, check out The Murders at White House Farm on HBO Max. The link to it is in my bio. It's awesome. Videos that seem innocent but have a terrifying backstory, part 4. This video shows comic magician Tommy Cooper having a- Great, you. I'm okay. That's good. Are you good? 
Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. So you're Christian? No, I am not. But you say you are not helpful, therefore you are a meaning. Why you say it ought to? That does not make sense. Don't you want to have a body? If you receive a creepy tea party invitation in your mailbox, throw it out right away and don't attend the party. There's a legend about this girl who received a strange invitation. It was sealed with wax, it looked super old, but it didn't say who it was from. It gave an address, a time, and a dress code. But the creepiest part about it is that at the very bottom of the invitation it said, no plus ones allowed, arrive unattended. Obviously her parents were really sketched out and they told her not to go to this place and to throw out the invitation right away. But the next day her parents went into her bedroom and she was nowhere to be seen. They saw the invitation lying open on her bed and they knew that she had gone. Now after this she was never seen again. And when her family went to the address the tea party was said to be, they arrived at an abandoned old building. It was then found out that multiple people had gone missing that month after receiving a strange tea party invitation. So if you get invited to a tea party, think twice. <laughs> This is the scary story about the lost girl. There was a little girl who lived in an apartment building. One day she told her mother that she was going to play with her friends. But hours later when her mom went to go get her for dinner, she was nowhere to be found. The mother asked all the kids who lived in the apartment building if they saw her daughter. But they said they hadn't seen her all day. The mother then called the police to look for her daughter, but they found nothing. After three months went by, people who lived in the apartment building began to complain about the water's taste and smell. The janitor then went up to the roof and checked the water tanks. And to his horror, he found the dead body of the lost girl floating in the water tank. And for three whole months, everybody who lived in the apartment building was drinking the water that the dead girl's decomposing body was floating in. 